Hey, what's going on? It's your chief guitar instructor, Miles, with Guitar Jet, and today we're going to be talking about the E minor extended pentatonic scale. So rather than visualizing the E minor pentatonic scale in a single position box shape, like I've shown you how to do in the past couple of YouTube lessons on my channel, we're going to view the E minor pentatonic scale horizontally. We're going to visualize it horizontally, and we're going to start by looking at a single string E minor pentatonic scale shape. And from there, we'll move on to some octave extensions. So let's start by looking at that single string shape, which you can play on the low E at frets 0, 3, 5, 7, 10, and 12. I'll play that now. Okay, and this is an awesome and essential way to visualize the scale because for starters, you can write awesome riffs with it. I'll play you an example riff. So that's just one example of what you can do with a single string E minor pentatonic. You can also play power chords from each interval. So at each fret, you can play a power chord. All right, and on top of that, you can also play some epic lead licks. And you can move it to the high E string. All right, so keep that in mind. And of course, track down your E notes on every other string and learn how to play the E minor pentatonic scale on that single string starting from that note. So for example, you could go to the second fret of your D string. That's the note, and you play two, five, seven, nine, 12, and at the octave, 14. All right, so that's the first way to visualize it horizontally. Then, of course, we can move on to our octave extensions, and I believe you can extend from shape five and shape one, the easiest. So if we're starting at shape five, one octave extension is, is it's where you play the same set of two, you could call it like a two, three extension, where you play two notes on the first string and three notes on the next string. So starting from your 10th fret E, you'd play 10, 12. Then you'd go to the A string and play 10, 12, 14. And from here, you need to know where the octaves are. So the octave for that 10th fret D will be at the 12th fret of the D string. So this 10th fret is a D note on the E string, and you'd play the D note on the D string, the 12th fret, and then the D note on the 15th fret of the B string. And you'd use the same finger structure, index ring, index ring slide. So you'd play 10, 12 on E with your first and third fingers. And then on A, you'd use your first and third fingers and slide. And that puts you in position to play the 12th fret D with your index finger. And then you play the 15th fret B with your index finger. All together. All right, and that's your that's your fifth shape extension. And then if you go to shape one, you can extend that by doing this. All right, and for this one, you'll just need to find the octaves again at E12, D14, and B17. Uh, and so you'd play index pinky 12 15. And then on the A string, you'd play 12 14, slide to 17. And then on the D string, you'd play 14 17. And on the D string, you'd play 14 16 20. Or sorry, 14 16 19. And then you'd go to the E note on the B string, play 1720, and then 
17, 19, 22 on the high E string. <laughs> All right, and like I say, you can do this at every single interval in the E minor pentatonic scale. So you've looked at how to play it on a single string. You've looked at how to extend the E minor pentatonic scale in a single position using octaves. And the last way to do it is by using three note per string, the three note per string E minor pentatonic scale shape, which I've also talked about several videos back, just three note per string minor pentatonic scales. And that would look like this. And you can construct some awesome licks using three note per string minor pentatonic shapes. So to play that, you just have your original like first position notes, your two note per string notes. And then from there, you add the 17th fret on each string except for the G string where you'll add the 16th fret. So that gives you from low E to I, E, 12, 15, 17, 12, 14, 17, 12, 14, 17, 12, 15, 17, 12, 15, 17, and 12, 15, 17 again. All right, and that's how you extend the E minor pentatonic scale. That's it, piece of cake, right? All right, and thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, definitely subscribe to the channel for more lessons about techniques, theory, lead guitar, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, comment if you have any questions. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good day, and keep on playing.